Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan. I'm Stina. And it is day number 19 of Advent Calendar Madness. We are almost to the 20s, which means not many episodes left. Nope. We're on the final six episodes of the show, which is really, really crazy to think about. So we got a lot going on today, as usual. We're gonna open the toys. We're gonna look at some cool pictures that you guys have been sending us, but I wanna start with this really cool email that we got. And I just wanted to read this on here. We've actually got a little special video to go along with it. So let me just jump right into this. This email says, hello, Pixel Dan. I've watched many of your videos and shared them with my sons, Logan and Austin. Your enthusiasm for toys is a joy to share with my kids. Plus, I get great toy advice from your reviews. We've dove in to get the DreamWorks connecting Voltron toys due to your great review. It's a fun toy that we enjoy, so thanks. That is awesome, guys. Thank you so much. And I'm really happy that you enjoy the reviews, especially with your kids. I think that's fantastic. It says, I'm enjoying the Advent Calendar Madness. Advent calendars have been a big part of my family as well. It's fun watching you and Stina's joy. And I admit, seeing some of the awkwardness with the Star Wars Lego one is fun too. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what these stupid ships are. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure how I've missed this holiday tradition in the past. I'm in for this and future ones. Well, that is awesome. I'm really glad you discovered us and that you're enjoying it. So Logan loves dinosaurs and Legos. He has, uh, he has since he was very young and to this day. I thought he may enjoy the dino advent calendar since we typically get Lego ones here. It is not anything we've been able to come across in toy hunting. Uh, we bought the one for Spencer off of Amazon. I've never actually seen it in person, but Amazon had it in stock this year. It was the first time I've ever seen it, so that's why we grabbed it for him. So maybe that's why you haven't seen it actually in stores. I don't know if it's like an online thing or, it's, well, there's not a lot of stores that carry the Schleich stuff anyway, like Toys R Us, and I think that's pretty much it, right? At least around here. At least around here. Uh, he goes on to say, Logan was bummed out for Spencer on the skeleton. So we decided to have one of Schleich's stegos stegosauruses sent over as a gift for Spencer to enjoy. It's coming from Amazon and they said it should be there very soon. We completely understand if you choose not to share the dino with Spencer. I know he must get loads from viewers. We just wanted to send a little fun your way in hopes it gives him a smile. Merry Christmas from our family to yours, Chris and Logan. I thought that was an amazing gesture and just as Chris and Logan said in their email, an awesome package showed up. So I filmed a little video with Spencer and I thought I'd put it right here for you guys. So enjoy. Hey Spencer, we got a special thing for you today. So one of the people or two of our people who watch you on the videos, they sent you a present. So let me read you this note. We got this awesome note that says, my son and I are enjoying Advent Calendar Madness. Logan loves dinosaurs, and he wanted to send Spencer this one as a gift. Merry Christmas from Chris and Logan. So Logan sent you a present. What is it? It's a stegosaurus. It's a stegosaurus. He said he sent it because he was sad that your stegosaurus uh, had pieces that were wrong. So he bought you a Stegosaurus. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Do you love it? Okay. Also, there's a note. Oh, yep. It's just the little thing that says Stegosaurus on it. Oh, it's cool. a stomp. It says stomp. It says stomp? <laughs> oh, like, okay, like stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you say thank you to Logan? Say thank you. Say thank you, Logan. Thank you, Logan. <laughs> Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Yay. Do you love it? Awesome. That is awesome. He so loved it. he did. He was so happy. He thought it was really cool. Um, I'll tell you a funny little bit of the story. He he goes to there's a kid in his preschool named Logan. So when I told him it was from Logan, he thought it was from the kid <laughs> in his school. Um, so I had to explain to him, no, no, no. It's a kid that we don't know named Logan that watches you open your advent calendar. And I think he understands now, but he loved it. So thank you guys very thank much you. for your very kind gesture. That was something incredibly cool that you did not have to do. And we really appreciate it. And Spencer definitely appreciates it. He loves his Stegosaurus. You guys are awesome. So yes, thank you very thank much. Thank you. All right. Well, with that out of the way, I think it's time to go ahead and jump into some other awesome emails that you guys have been sending us. So it's creepy Santa time. Here we go. Yeah. 
He's still working. Boom. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a couple emails a day. We are really loading up on these and they just keep coming. Uh, somebody actually messaged me, or was it one of the YouTube comments? I think one of the YouTube comments today or yesterday asked uh, how backlogged I was on Creepy Santa emails. So I'll tell you guys here, I, I said it in the comments. Uh, as of right now, I have, uh, looks like 43 emails in the creepy Santa folder that I have set up. I have three brand new ones in my inbox that I still have to move, so that's 40, what, 45 or so, and I get about five new ones a day. So it's crazy, uh, we've got a lot of backlog. I've been doing every one of them in order that I've got them, as long as there's pictures attached to them. And uh, it's, it's awesome um, seeing so many of these photos coming in because I really feel like this is the biggest turnout we've ever had for these because I've never been like this backlogged before. So that's why I'm trying my best to read as many as I can every day. Like I said, we don't have a lot of days left. So if we have to on the last day, uh, in the past I've just kind of done like a cool little slideshow showing like everybody's Santa. So we're gonna do our best to read your emails, uh, but keep that in mind. If you're like at a point now where you're trying to send us an email, just know it's going to be added to the back of the queue and we have a lot of emails in front of yours. So, all right, let's jump into today's emails. Uh, first one says, hi, Dan, Stina, and Spencer. My fiance, Gary, and I love watching your channel. We found out our local thrift shop had a lot of Christmas items. So this past weekend, we went there on a creepy Santa hunt. The first picture I'm calling creepy Santa's cousin. And the second picture is creepy Santa's friends. Keep up the great work. I can't wait until our daughter Harper is old enough to open up her own advent calendar. Aww. Merry Christmas, Melissa, Gary, and baby Harper. That is awesome. I love hearing that you guys are watching this together. So first picture picks, uh, is Creepy Santa's cousin because it's our Creepy it's Santa. It's ours. Uh, it's his twin. I'm sad though because it says plays music doesn't move. Aww. 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 Two dollars is a good deal, though. Did you guys get it? <laughs> <laughs> and the next picture is Creepy Santa's friends, because it's just a whole bunch of Santas. It's like a creepy Santa village. Creepy Santa parade. <laughs> <laughs> Those the are amazing. One. Yeah, as you can see, they're all right next to the Creepy yep. Santa's cousin there. Nice. That is an awesome collection. Well, thank you guys very much. Yes, we thank really you. appreciate the email. The next one says, "Hey, Pixel family, Merry Christmas! Here is my Creepy Santa." He is a wind-up dancing Santa, but I think he looks kind of like the Terminator. And Pixel Dan, did you know that your creepy Santa is in the Bells of Fraggle Rock Christmas special? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Cowabunga Angel. I think I told you that all yes. a long time ago. We actually, I completely forgot about we that. We actually did know that. And actually, it's been pointed out a few times online, too, which I always love. People tweet me the pictures and everything. So real quick, let's take a look. Um, I <laughs> love this because it's a Noggin Bops. I have a Noggin Bops skeleton. It's the exact same thing, but he's yellow with a skeleton head, and he sits on my desk at work, and I love him. Oh, so yeah. this is really great, your little Noggin Bop Santa Claus. Nice. I love it. And then he included a screenshot from the Fraggle Rock special where you can see our Creepy Santa. <laughs> I think that's amazing. Our Creepy Santa's a movie star. Love the Fraggles, too. Thank you very much, Angel. Really yeah. appreciate it. All right, moving on. Next email says, hey, Pixel Dan and family. My grandmother was a big Santa fan and decorated her whole house in different kinds of Santas each Christmas. I like where this is going. After she passed, I inherited all of her Santas, including, including this Asian Santa. My wife is not a Santa fan, so he sits at the back of our tree with this weird-looking bear elf at the top of the left pic at the top left of the picture. Thank you and your family for being so positive and joyful in all seasons, not just Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dusty. So this I, is uh, this I is. I tried doing that too. Hiding our stuff in the back of the tree. Yeah, he <laughs> never took to it. I like I like this. This is it's great. It's kind of like like the mini version of your creepy. Santa. It does kind of yeah. He kind of looks like that. There's the weird bear thing he was talking about too. I love it. But you have something similar to that, don't you? Don't you have like a bear? Or uh, well, my That's bear is first... my my first Christmas bear, but he he's different than that. He's like white. Yeah. But those are really cool. I love it. And I love that you inherited your grandma's Santas. I think that is a really cool little collection to inherit. So very cool. Well, thank you, Dusty. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right. The next email says, hey, guys, Mark here. I was going through my aunt's ornaments and I found this elf. What do you think? Happy holidays. Look at oh. this little thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
alien elf in the he house. He does look Ooh. like an alien. And what is he holding? Is that supposed to be a puppy and a dolly? Or a horse or a donkey? <laughs> I don't know. That's an amazing that's a dolly, ornament. dolly, I think. Definitely like he's holding a little he's dolly. Like but I guess that's supposed to be a puppy or something. or something like that. It's like, look at his feet. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Or just like a really glossy plastic, maybe. He's, he's creepy. Yep, that's a creepy elf. Yep. That is definitely one of Creepy Santa's creepy elves. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, we're going to do one more today. Uh, this email says, oh, I got to look. Okay. Hey, Pixel Dan, my name is Mitchell. I'm 11 years old, and I've been watching you for four years. I found these creepy Santas in a store. Have a Merry Christmas. So we got two of them in this picture, from this email from Mitchell. Uh -huh. So there's number one. Oh, it's not so creepy, is it? No, but I look love... with the white bag. Um, so he's wearing like a bathrobe, and he's got like a towel draped over his arm, and he's got Rudolph uh, like slippers towel? on. That's totally a towel, right? Because he's wearing like a, a bathrobe. But why would he have the teddy bear? Or maybe it's a blanket. Oh, maybe it's a blanket. Maybe it's like a nighttime bath. Like, like it's a... the inside of a blanket? Maybe. Or like he's getting ready for bed because that would explain the teddy bear and he's got the little Rudolph slippers yeah. on. It's, it, I think that's kind of cute. Okay, that one's a little creepy. <laughs> and he's only $100. <laughs> his, his beard and his eyes. That beard is wild. Look at that beard. Oh, look at the big bushy eyebrows. Yeah. Those just kind of popped out at me. <laughs> they keep his face warm. Man, that is hilarious. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for continuing to send us so many creepy Santa pictures. And like I said, we're going to do our very best to get through all of the pictures that were sent in to us here. Um, we've got a lot to go, but we've got a few days left, so we'll get through them. All right. Ready to do toys? Let's do toys. All right. Well, first thing we're going to do is cut over to Spencer, who is opening up his Schleich dinosaur calendar. So let's see what he gets today. Hey, Spencer. What's on your shirt? A BB-8. BB-8? Are you ready for your advent calendar? What number are we on today? <gasps> number 19. All right, open it up. Let's see what we got. I feel something. Already? There's something in there? You're getting better at opening those doors, aren't you? Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's that today? Another one. Another what? Another plant? Yeah. Oh. It's more plant life. Oh, let's open this up. Let's put it together. Oh, this has got like some little pieces here. Let's build it here. Let's put this together and then put this together. Whoa, look at that. What's this on the top? Oh, that's part of the plant. But what that's kind of cool looking. But what is it? I'm not sure what kind of plant that is. Some kind of plant that was around with the dinosaurs. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. All right, well, we're going to come back tomorrow and do more, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye, buddy. <laughs> All right, more plant life yep. <laughs> for Spencer. I think that's the last plant he's going to get, um, just Hopefully. looking at the box. He never seems super interested in the plants. Well, like he's, he was like a little bit more curious about the. Yeah. yeah. I think I th that was a cat's tail. It almost looked like a cat's tail or something. Yeah. I definitely think it's supposed to go with like that prehistoric frog thing he got yesterday because it looks like something that would grow in or around like a swampy area. Right. Um, but it's cool. I think it's neat that they're including stuff like that. So pretty cool. But he got a stegosaurus. So yeah. He's happy about that. <laughs> All right. Um, Am I on You're this today? You're on that one, right? I think. What did you open? Uh, I, oh, I opened um, the uh, Thomas the Train. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Battle Claw. We've actually done several Battle Claw videos, Steena and I. We actually just posted our last uh, of a set of five Battle Claw videos. So this is a, this is a fun uh, little card game from Mattel with like little minifigures if you haven't seen our video yet. And these blind bags have the different minifigures in them. The Jinlins, as they're called. So let's see what I got. Ooh, I got a special Jinlin. I got one of the, uh, the mixed ones. Oh, so this spider. is the spider that is part earth, part water. Ooh. These are also fun minifigs if you're just a minifig collector. You don't have to play the game. My Freddy is sledding. He's sledding? He's sledding. Oh, wow, he's got a sled. A little like toboggan kind yep. of sled. That's pretty cool. That's the first one we have, we've gotten that's got like 
something extra yep. on him like that. Mm -hmm. That is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Here we go, Star Wars. All right, so I totally didn't notice that we made the shift from The Force Awakens to Rogue One the last couple days. Ah. So this actually is Krennic's ship from Rogue One. And this is, I said it was a Y-Wing, but I think they, they have newer versions of these, or different versions on Rogue One, but this is from Rogue One, not The Force Awakens. Because I was questioning that. I was like, are these in The Force Awakens? And so this is, in fact, an Imperial officer from the Empire, because he's from Rogue One. So the last three days have been Rogue One, and I totally didn't even notice. I was still thinking we were on Force Awakens. Just makes a shift without without any warning. It just makes a shift. <laughs> All right, number 19. I got Jesse. Whoa. That bag Jessie opened. Jesse the cowgirl? Yep, Jesse the cowgirl from Toy Story. I got another little ship to build, and I'm not entirely sure if I know what today's ship is. So let's see what I got here. Let's see if maybe I know. That would be hilarious. If, if you I just knew this, I knew. I'd be like, oh, I don't even know how you know these ships. <laughs> okay. Sure, it's that thingamabobber with the whatchamacallit. That's what I keep saying every day. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy built real quick. Okay, so let's ask questions. Ask questions. So what is all of you guys' favorite Christmas movies to watch? Oh, gosh. We just finished all three Santa Clauses. I Stina love those. does love the Santa Claus movies. She's talking the ones with Tim Allen. Yep. Yep. Because they're all on Netflix now. Mm -hmm. So they you just, can stream just them. I, will, I want to say that there is a severe lack of Christmas movies, like decent, good Christmas movies, on any of the streaming services. What is up with that? Like, none of the classics you can really stream. Like, we got lucky and found some of the older classics on, like, Amazon, Amazon. Prime. Like, we were able to watch Rudolph and but, some of those. Yeah. Um, but you still have to pay for, like, a, a lot Christmas of them you do. vacation. Yeah, like, and... Christmas vacation and... Uh, you know, Jingle All the Way is my favorite. You can't stream that anywhere without paying for it. Like, not, like, I feel like you go to the holiday section of Netflix and most of it is stuff you've never heard of. It's like all And like, like weird, Hallmark. like made for TV Hallmark yeah. stuff. And you're like, where are all the actual Christmas movies? That's, that's a shame. It's a shame that none of the streaming services have been able to like actually land the good Christmas movies. I don't know what's up with that. They probably just anyway, don't think people are going to care about them. Anyway, it's this ship. It's definitely an imperial ship of some <laughs> sort, but I don't know exactly which one this is. So you guys do your thing, and you tell me. You can tell me what ship it is. I'll just keep struggling through the Star Wars calendar this year. This is not my Star Wars calendar. I am not doing well with this stuff. I did really good the last time because I was getting things I knew because it was all from like Return of the Jedi and, right. and you know original trilogy, and I'm better at that. I, I feel like these newer movies, I still just don't know the ships and stuff very well. Well, it's because you haven't watched them a million yeah, times Yeah, exactly. Yet. Exactly. Like, I've seen all of these new movies maybe once or twice a piece. I guess I've seen Force Awakens twice and Rogue One twice, and now I've seen The Last Jedi once. So that would explain it, right? Like, I'm not really, like, focusing on the ships and stuff for these new nope. movies and too And the much. other ones you've watched a million times. And I've times. watched the original trilogy a billion times since I was a kid, over and over again. So that will definitely do it. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to end day number 19 of Advent Calendar Madness. So hopefully you guys will join us back here tomorrow for the big 2-0 day number 20 of December. So until then, I am Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. Happy holidays, my friends.